Hello, I am Columbia Daily Tribune City Editor Matt Sanders, and with me is our arts and entertainment and I guess general features editor, Eric Danielson. Yeah. Um, it's Friday, so uh, he's got some stuff coming this weekend that he worked real hard on that uh, y'all ought to read in Sunday's Ovation section. Um, for one, it's a you have an article about a question that I've always wondered about <laughs> as an audiophile, like yeah. uh, what is the deal with cassette tapes being popular again. Cassette tapes are back, or yeah. did they ever go anywhere? Yeah. Um, there are a bunch of Columbia bands, as well as two Columbia uh, record labels that are primarily putting out music on cassette. It's, you know, we talk about it a lot more in the article Sunday, but the idea that, you know, as, as it really becomes streaming on one hand and, and kind of physical media vinyl on the other hand, it doesn't seem like there's a lot in the middle. Um, cassette tapes are a way for both bands and labels to put out music very economically. Mm, um, yeah a little bit more quickly, not as worried about the fidelity and the, the length of the process that okay. it takes to press vinyl, yet have something physical, some sort of artifact that, uh, that listeners can hold in their hands and, and play um, if, they have the, if they have the means. So we talked to representatives of both the labels in Columbia that do that, as well as uh, one of the guys over at Hit Records and just talk about why are all the kids buying cassettes these days. Yeah, so, yeah, interesting. Yeah. yeah, I'm more of a vinyl and digital guy myself. Yeah, sure. But then again, I'm approaching 40, so, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, I'm not necessarily in the hip demographic anymore. Well, um, you said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, look for that in Sunday's ovation. Uh, that ought to be uh, pretty interesting, pretty interesting if you are curious about those kind of things, yeah. like we are. Yeah. So, uh, um, as far as today's paper goes, of course, I've been showing you our morning editions this week, and it's our first uh, time going, our first week of morning publication through the week. Um, Pretty good paper today. Of course, we continue our poverty series. This time, it's a story about housing. Um, housing has been a, uh, uh, you know, if you ask the ex experts, housing is a major hurdle to people who are trying to um, get out of poverty. You know, having that affordable housing, um, people who are in poverty spend a huge proportion of their income on housing. Um, and it doesn't really allow them money for much other stuff, including things like, you know, maybe paying tuition for classes to, you know, improve their situation or something like that. So, um, got a pretty interesting take on uh, the issue with housing and affordable housing. Um, coverage of UM curators. Interesting story here about a judge saying that the Columbia Police Department violated the law uh, in the case against Montauk County Prosecutor Shane Haley. I won't tell you any more. You can read a little more about that. Um, some things that we're working on for tomorrow. Of course, our poverty series continues with uh, Jody Jackson writing about the importance of job skills training mm -hmm. and how that can help people uh, lift themselves out of poverty. Um, and Roger McKinney is covering day two of the curators meeting. They are talking mm -hmm. budget this morning and the uh, constraints that they're going to be under uh, going into the next school year. Um, and of course, Sunday wraps up our poverty series. We've told you about the issues. Now we're looking at the solutions. So that's going to be the focus of Sunday's story. Um, and then uh, also we're looking at uh, school board preview. School board is going to be setting new boundaries for the uh, for Gentry and Jefferson Middle Schools on Monday night. So um, Roger McKinney is going to be previewing that as well this weekend to tell you what to expect there. So. Um, of course, you can always reach us via our social media accounts, Twitter and Facebook, mm -hmm. and via email.